what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great you're all well and welcome back to this new episode and i'm back once again with another great review and in this video i'm going to show you some of the products from an indian house known as heaven duff or heaven duff and i have reviewed few of their products recently you can check on my channel if you are interested i have reviewed few of their others and this house is lit their products are so good very unique the quality is very high the grade is very high and the prices are very affordable so the owner of this house tosif bai is doing an amazing job so heaven duff have recently released a collection of four perfumes with the name artisanal perfumes collection and they have uh, four perfumes in this collection and all four are very 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 nice very good and today i'm going to show you all four of them i'm just going to tell you that how this perfume actually smells what type of fragrances are these and i'm just going to give you a, like a brief description of these perfumes not a detailed review so let's start our review and as always we will start with the presentation so first of all the presentation of all these four perfumes are same uh, so here before i start my review i have uh, something to say uh, to the brand to the house heaven duff and i have a kind of suggestion if uh, they agrees to me so let me show you the presentation first so you will get these perfumes in this box and this box was wrapped in a, in a gift paper a branded gift paper uh, from the house heaven duff with a black ribbon which i have already uh, thrown away Uh, because i have to open it to test all these fragrances so you will get these perfumes uh in this box you can see the color of the box and here are some details in the back the name of the house here heaven duff heaven duff and in the back here you will get uh, some details uh, made in india the website uh, of the house and once you are going to open this box you will find these cards here two printed cards and the first card here is saying uh, Uh, thank you and some ingredient details in the back and then here you will get this small booklet with the name scented poetry and in this booklet you will find all four artisanal perfumes they have launched in this collection with the artwork and the name of the perfumes a nose breakdown etc and the presentation is same for all the four perfumes you buy any perfume you will get the same presentation and uh, then you have to move this uh, paper to get your bottle here in this uh, foam cut out so this is how the presentation looks and now uh, something i don't like about the presentation is the quality and if you see the box is not made with highly grade materials you can see uh, these bubbles here even uh, the, the box is uh, is broken from this side the finishing is not good uh, even from inside if you see the quality of this paper is not good these two cards are okay but the worst thing in this box is this foam cut out if you see here there are layer of foam uh, which looks very 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 bad and even uh, the bottle the glass of the bottles are not of very high grade and even the metallic sticker on the bottle is not as refined as it should be i know like uh, the brand have to compromise on presentation to keep the prices low but instead of doing all these things because a lot of things are going around here in this presentation uh, guys you can take a nice glass bottle in a simple box your product is good your juices are amazing you don't need all these gimmicks so please uh, take it as a suggestion uh take it in a positive way in future don't do these kind of things i know you have paid a lot of money to do uh, these things here which didn't work well for me this presentation is not at par very low quality presentation finishing everything is bad here so this was like you can say a suggestion to the brand and i know tosif bai is going to take it in a positive way uh, so this was about the presentation uh it's okay it's, it's not good but it's fine and now let me show you the bottle and after that i'm going to tell you that how these four perfumes uh, smells so we got like four perfumes here the bottles are once again same uh, the only difference will be the name on on the bottle so we got saba here 
This is the first perfume, Saba. As you can see the bottle, uh, the glass clarity and the finishing is not good. Even the sticker here is not of very high quality. You can see these sharp edges here. Even the print is not nice. Even the white background here is not good. And then you get this plastic cap uh, with this uh, uh, metallic inner here and you will find this golden atomizer. So this is the bottle, this is the presentation. And we have Saba here. The second uh, perfume we have here is uh, Tonka Tobacco. And then the third perfume we have here is Bias. And then the fourth one is Amor and Psych, Love and Madness. So these are the four perfumes which we are going to review today, we are going to discuss today. And uh, let's start with Sabha first. I will start with the simplest one first, with the easiest one. And then step by step, we will move towards uh, the hard stuff, you know, uh, the, the complex ones. So let's talk about Saba. So as you can see from the name, Saba, I think in Arabic or in, in Urdu means uh, morning. Uh, so here, this is a freshy, but in artisanal way. The quality, the blending, the ingredients are very high. By the way, uh, these perfumes are a blend, a mix of naturals, exotic materials and of course uh, the synthetic high quality molecules but everything used in these perfumes in the making of these perfumes are of high quality so nothing cheap here these juices are of very high quality so don't go uh, don't get carried away with the presentation just check the juice so here this is the only uh, fresh only the fresh one here in all these four and the most easiest one to wear the most easiest one uh, to handle so this is a freshy a fruity and floral concoction here you will get a beautiful note of bergamot i can pick up some apples here uh, with some woods and then there is white musk here and then with all that you will get lavenders a lot of lavenders but these lavenders are very aquatic very watery type of lavenders so simple yet beautiful some fruits with a lot of lavenders and white musk as simple as that but smells so nice and uh, it can be a scent which can be used every day uh, or in anywhere in any kind of scenario uh, the easiest one fruity floral concoction uh, from the house of heaven Duf, from their artisanal perfume collection sabha the performance in these perfumes is amazing all of these perfumes are going to last for a very long time Saba is I think the weakest one and weakest means it's going to give you a longevity of seven to eight hours easily after that it's going to stay on your fabric for a very long time but it's not screaming it's not that loud so in that sense yeah this is the weakest one but otherwise performance is not an issue here if you like this kind of fresh uh, fruity floral type of scents to be used in your office every day in the morning this is the perfume to be checked. Sabha, a very nice scent. Fruity, apple, uh, bergamot, some plant woods and with some uh, uh, lavenders in the base and white musk. So this was Sabha. And now let's jump to the second one. And the second one here is a Tonka Tobacco. I love the note of tobacco and even Tonka. Tonka is something which I like a lot because it smells like vanilla in a powdery uh, way. As it's very obvious from the name that this is a blend of Tonka beans and tobacco. But the tobacco used here is not that ashy type of tobacco. If you uh, read the description of this perfume, they have tried to capture uh, the essence of a burning cigar but uh, in my experience as per my humble uh, opinion the opening here is a little bit medicinal and a little bit soapy it's a fresh type of uh, tobacco it's not that smoky and that hard bitter type of tobacco no uh, this is soapy it's sweet it's a bit medicinal and uh, uh, this fragrance can trigger nostalgia uh, a classic type of concoction here the feel of this perfume is classic once i smell this perfume uh, it took me uh, like 25 30 years back when i was a kid and uh, my father and my uncles they used to use these kind of uh, colognes 
a little bit soapy and you know a uh, little bit uh, sweet type of scent uh, so uh, for me this is like a fresh type of tobacco it's not smoky it's not heavy it's not uh, bitter so this is a sweet uh, tonka heavy which make it a little bit powdery so towards uh, the dry down in the second phase it becomes a little bit more more powdery so this is how the perfume starts and then towards the dry down in his whole journey it's going to change a lot because this is a dynamic type of scent and in the final dry down uh, tobacco becomes more dominant and this perfume is going to remind you uh, some french style tobacco based perfumes in the final dry down uh, but from the opening till end you're going to enjoy the journey is very nice it's a soapy fresh tobacco uh, with tonka beans so this was about uh, tonka tobacco and let me tell you once again that all these perfumes are going to stay for a very long time performance is not an issue here all these perfumes are unisex ladies or gents anyone can drop it easily without any issue and for the age group you should be mature for all of them you should be around the age of 24 25 plus and uh, because these are artisanal type of scents these are artisanal compositions artisan concoctions so you can rock these perfumes all year around in summers uh, in winters wherever you want these artisanal type of uh, perfumes can be used in all kind of scenarios and in all kind of seasons only the freshest and the easiest one is Saba. and now the other three they are complex and step by step they're getting more and more complex uh, so this was our tonka tobacco and now let's jump to the third one and the third one here i have is pious and here you go you can see the juice color it's dark brown and uh, greenish and let's talk about this perfume pious so this is on the first sniff you will know that this is khas ruhas indian ruhas khas means vetiver and i'm sure a lot of you guys have already uh, know about that green uh, thick others green thick oils uh, comes from india they call it ruhas or you can say uh, whatever absolute so this is sweet this is green uh, indian style whatever indian husk this is not that uh, french style uh, whatever which is like more woody and more, more dry this is like a more green fresh green and sweet uh, type of hus used here you can just search uh, Indian vetiver or Indian khas and even you can see my uh, review on my channel which is uh, based on khas, ru khas. so this is purely Indian khas uh, transformed into a perfume and with some additional exotic ingredients in this blend you will get obviously green khas or uh, you can say uh, khas uh, vetiver absolute uh, this is sweet this is earthy this is mossy this is green and then you will get patchouli in the base and with patchouli you will get animalic notes and in animalic notes you will get a very clear note of castorium here castorium is a very expensive and exotic type of material i know you guys have heard about it so here it's a very unique type of blend of green khas green vetiver mixed with patchouli and castorium so it's animalic green fresh sweet type of mind boggling type of concoction here so this was about pious and now let's jump on the last one the fourth one and here i'm talking about amor and psych and this is the most challenging and the most complex in all four uh, this is very spicy very woody very complex and very animalic type of concoction here in the opening it's sweet heavy but very spicy you will find a lot of cardamom here with a lot of cloves and then you will get amber wood spices you will get a spicy amber here and then you will get a sweet amber there is oud oud is not the most prominent uh, note here but you can smell that that animalic uh, leathery indian oud here and then uh, along with that you will get a very strong animalic note of civet and civet once again is a very expensive and exotic type of material to be used in perfumes so here you will get civet you will get hindi oud you will get uh, some uh, woody notes amber wood spices and 
a very complex concoction. You will also get some florals. There is a note of rose used here and uh, Ruh Gulab. Ruh Gulab means uh, the purest form of uh, the, the first distilled oil of rose from, from Indian uh, origin. So uh, a touch of rose here. It's green, it's mossy, it's complex. An emalic woody type of concoction. This is really uh, something mad, you know, <laughs> as per the name. Amor and Psyche, like uh, it's like a, a love and madness. So the same thing is going here. You are going to love it, uh, but you will also feel that madness here in this uh, perfume. Uh, this perfume is inspired by that movie, which was, uh, I think, uh, the perfume, the, the guy who killed a lot of ladies to make the perfect uh, scent. I think that movie was perfume, I think, or maybe the perfumer. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure you guys know about that movie. So uh, the inspiration behind this perfume is that movie. This was about uh, Amor and Psyche. Do check it out if you like these kind of uh, complex and bad type of concoctions. So this was my review about these four perfumes from the House of Heaven Duft from their artisanal perfume collection. And now let's talk about the price. So you can get these perfumes in both 50 and 100 ml quantity. Here I got 50 ml bottles and the price of these perfumes are same except one. So the price for these three perfumes, which is Sabha and Tonka Tobacco and Pius, the price for all these three is same. For 50 ml, you have to pay 3,450 Indian rupees or you can say 45 US dollars. And this house is uh, delivering all over the world. So you can order. It doesn't matter where you live, even if you're in US, Canada or wherever you are, they can deliver. Uh, for the shipment charges, you have to contact them. Amor and Psyche. This one, Amor and Psyche. This is the most expensive one because of uh, the ingredients here. Civet is very expensive. Even the uh, rose absolute is very expensive, which is used here. And then uh, all other uh, things used in this perfume are exotic. They have used a lot of uh, expensive stuff here. So the price of Amor and Psyche is uh, 6,600 Indian rupees, or you can say 86 US dollars. And now the good news. So the good news here is that Heaven Doof is giving you 10% discount worldwide uh, right now. And the code for this discount is here on the screen, which is prepaid 10. So by applying this code prepaid 10, you are going to get direct 10% discount on these perfumes, or I think on the whole house. I think you can buy whatever you want. You will be getting 10% direct discount. So this is the right time to buy these kind of products. If you like these type of perfumes, you can ask them for the uh, final date of this offer. Uh, but right now it's active. So this is the time. So this was my review about Heaven Doof artisanal uh, perfumes collection. I hope you liked it and trust me guys, uh, these kind of products are very rare and if you are a collector, you must at least try these products. So this was my review about these four products. I hope you liked it. So until the next video, take care and bye. Put your scent on, stay fragrant and I'm going to catch you in my another review of another great product. Until then, bye.